Right, we're on. Do you ever get stuck inside? The club gets stuck behind you? That leads to all sorts of problems. You can push it straight right or you can flip it over to the left. It's not ideal that, you know. Today's drill is going to focus on that if you're stuck inside. Even if you're over the top, you'll learn something from this as well. This is just a good all-round drill, but for you guys who are stuck with a golf club behind you, enjoy the content. So when the golf club gets stuck behind you, up, 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 and then from there we get down, the hips move too early, the golf club's stuck way behind you here somewhere, and then of course there's nowhere to go, so you have to push it to the right, or, God forbid, from there, in here, this is extreme, I've really exaggerated this, hips move too early, and then flip. So if you're a flipper, and you flip the ball to the left, this is the drill for you. Now, I know and you know that an in to out path's not a bad thing at all. I love a little in to out path, to be fair. I'm not a huge fan of the out to in, but there's, there's pros and cons. Let's not talk about that. But this drill's gonna encourage a, a less in to out path, less flipping, less stuck behind, but you'll still be in to out. Just in case you were worried, thinking, oh, I want to keep my in to out path. I like that, Steve. I get it. So, too far in to out, there's the path of the club, stuck behind. Boom, flipped over. Now, lots of drills, lots of reps. We've talked about this before, Tiger talking about reps, reps, reps. Take your cane, place it inside the loops of your trousers, but leave it out to your right-hand side. For a right-handed golfer, leave it to your trail side, or your right side for uh, whatever golfer you are, your trail side. Okay, up to the top. Here we go, let me just tee one up here. Up to it. Now, I'm aware there's water in front of me here, so I'm, let's try and not get this wrong. <laughs> so up to the top of my golf swing, if my hips go too early, if I fire the hips too early, look what's happened to the cane. Up, hips fired too early, cane moves. Then on the way down, I'm hitting that cane. Up, too early, up, too early. I'm not gonna lie, this is a hard drill. Because of course, by the time we move the body towards up, target, not the too early. Sit there has to be a slight lateral shift towards open up target first. And so we move the body towards the target, then the hips open falls. up. Up, and then from there we move a little bit towards target, and then from there we can come down and miss that cane. Okay, so it'll be an exaggerated. You'll feel as though you're way out to in. You'll feel as though it's all hands and arms to begin with. There. Okay, hit the cane. Got over the water though. <laughs> so I hit the cane there. <laughs> That's incredible. There. I stand with my feet open, Eureka Golf Swing. Check out eurekagolfswing.com, nice plug. Because that gets my body to open up and prevents an out-to-end path. This here is not a fault I have it's going to be a hard one for me, so just bear with me. Also remember, feel and real are completely different things. So I feel as though I've got it. Boom. So feel and real are completely different. Okay, there. And then from there, I do not want to get stuck in here. I want to make sure from there that I can get this to work here. And there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That was hard work for me. That was very hard work for me. And I'm not a huge flipper, but it synchronizes the body a lot better. There, strike wasn't brilliant. There, there. So I'm steepening, steepening the angle of attack, just a fraction. The angle of attack's getting steeper. So coming down here more and less shallow angle of attack. So, because if you do flip, you have that massive in to out shallow angle of attack club low to the ground early because you're stuck there, which would be behind here, stuck there. So it'll feel super steep, and it does, it feels really steep to me. Again, I'm not a fan of steep. For some players, it's functional. Remember in Homer Kelly's book talking about there's 146 quadrillion different motions within the golf swing. That's a lot of motions. <laughs> and he says everyone is correct to the individual. Jim Furyk's movements are, you wouldn't teach it, but to Jim, that's correct because that's what gets him into the optimum impact position. So all these wrong positions are not wrong for everyone. Madness. 
again, up there, too early, up there, too early, up there, steeper, up there, steeper, up there. Oh, I just clipped it. Tried to give it a little bit more there. So again, we are exaggerating the motion more. And if you come away from this drill with less flipping, but still touching the cane, you'll feel it immediately. The feedback's fantastic. But less flipping on the golf course and less pushing the ball out to the right, that block into out path with the square face to the path, then the drill doesn't have to be perfect. It's just an extreme example. So you'll marry in between the two. That's just golf at its best. I mean, it can be a real pain in the ass at times. Look at that. So the hips are much quieter there. So I'm there. See, I stand with my Eureka golf swing. I stand with my feet open. So my hips are already slightly open. So this is, this is, this is against me. So I'm going to try and square it up a little bit. Yeah. I feel, look at that. If I don't turn the hips at all and just do that drill, there's no way I can flip. There's no way I'll hit the, hit the cane. Yep, good. I have no target here. The green's up to the right of where I'm aiming. I'm sure from there you can see, I can certainly feel how the hips are much quieter. Much, much quieter. They're not opening up nearly as much. They're not getting out of the way too early, which is such a huge fault. It's, it's hard to time that though, isn't it? Then I take this away. And from there I'm going to feel, this is not a fault I have of course, I'm going to feel as though my hips don't move on the way through. Yeah, they turn back, my back's the target. And then there, the hips are not moving through. I'm keeping the right hip back, trying to hold that right hip back to actually play a shot. Set myself, brilliant. Hold the right hip back. I would normally be in here. A guy who flips too much would be in there, stuck too early. I'm going to hold it back. That little tree. It's sticking out in the left of the fairway there, that's the line. There, holding right hip back. Strike's good. That's right on the tree. Four or five feet to the right of it, great. I do feel a little bit more educated there. I do, holding the right hip back is actually quite a nice feeling. The cane is a horrible feeling because I don't have that fault. If you have that fault, it's going to be unbelievable, game-changing stuff for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video and subscribe. Thank you.